Just like young boys his age, Tahan is full of energy and enthusiasm. However, life was not always so easy. Tahan was diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder, a developmental disorder that affects communication and behavior. With early intervention and specialized care from Reach Child and Youth Development Society, Tahan has become well-adjusted and confident in his daily life. His mother, Sonali, shares Tahan's journey. Tahan was born at Langley Memorial Hospital um, on February 23rd, 2012. And we were really excited because he was our first child. I think we started finding that at around 18 months when we went for his immunizations, the only thing we did let them know is that he wasn't talking at all and we didn't have any words. So at that time they did ask us to put him down on an assessment list. He was a very happy, healthy, active little boy, met all his physical milestones well within the range. So it was just uh, this lack of speech that uh, made us you know, want to explore things further and check things out. I wasn't as um, distraught as she was. Um, I just figured that, you know, we, we're going to have to to deal with it. And uh, once uh, Sonali got in touch with Reach and we saw, you know, the plan they had laid out, um, I just thought we'd, we'd take it one step at a time. I, I wasn't particularly hassled by it at all or distraught in any way. Yeah. Wow, Mom. One more. It's a soft seal. 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 We went to Reach once we set up an appointment and went to the center and church initially. And after that, we decided we'll start sessions at home in the month of July, and they came home. They were wonderful sessions right from the get-go. All they asked us to provide was a small table with two chairs and we had it in Tahan's room. He loved his sessions from day one. He would be looking out of the window, waiting for Jessica or Vanessa to show up. It was like having his own personal play date every day when they came over. So he absolutely loved it. And when we saw how well he was doing right from the start, I have to say we were so reassured and all our fears were just delayed and they were so detail oriented. They left file folders with detailed notes for us to go through once they had left. And we could just see, you know, all the programs coming together so nicely to blend and get him to where he needed to be to relate to his peers. Nice, good work. Good job, Tahan. That's it. One of the biggest breakthrough moments was I still remember we had gone to Hawaii on holiday in May and he didn't say a word the entire eight days of the trip, not a single word. As soon as we came back, we got the diagnosis. And then a few months later in the fall when we went to the Okanagan, one morning he came up to us and said, Daddy, can you make me a strawberry jam sandwich? And we were completely blown away. I remember, I think that was the moment I felt, you know what, he's gonna be okay. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Family life has been good. We are very hopeful for the future. He interacts beautifully with his sister. So I have to say this diagnosis has not been devastating for us at all. We've taken it as a challenge. Yes, it would have been lovely if he didn't have the diagnosis. But you know what, every kid has something and uh, no one's perfect. And I think it's all about how this condition is managed and uh, early intervention is key. We live in such a fantastic country. This province has one of the best fundings. The resources uh, are really incredible. Amazing. Yeah. And REACH is such a fabulous organization. Going forward, we just want him to have a good life. For me, it's not about him getting into Harvard. It's about having a happy family life and being a productive member of society. So I think uh, we have no concerns that he will be a contributing member and that's, that's our, our biggest hope that he has a good and fulfilled life and he fulfills and reaches his potential, whatever that potential may be.